Hi, I'm Mr. Seven Pfeiffer. I'm reading from Subject of Change by Karen Nesbitt. Chapter 8. I got my permission slip from Mr. Peters, and now I'm sitting beside Little Miss Perfect on the bus. It's super awkward. I hate school buses. Some idiot is blowing spitballs through a straw at the nerdy kids. Leah is holding her jack, her phone, and her earphones are dangling out of her jacket, like she wants to plug herself in but doesn't want to be rude. She's trying to smile at me, but it looks fake. She's not used to talking to someone like me, I guess. Nice bus, I say. Brilliant. Just then a tiny ball of chewed up paper whizzes past her head and sticks to the window. The bus driver yells at us in French. Some kid's lunch kit opens and stuff rolls all over the floor. We both start to laugh. Then we stop. Neither of us knows what to say, so we go back to being uncomfortable. It won't be that long a ride. I don't live far from school. I pretend to stare out the window. She plugs herself in. I know where she lives, in one of those big houses right in Hudson, not out in the country like me, and there's a lawn and a garden in the summertime. In her neighborhood, there's no broken bathroom fixtures out front, no pickup trucks or old tires or mobile homes or chain link snow fences. I know which house is hers because I rang her doorbell when I was trying to get shoveling jobs in Hudson for the winter. I was saving for my Xbox. She actually answered the door. I figured there'd be lots of people living in those nice houses who could pay a kid for something like that. I walked up and down Main Road, but everyone, Leah's parents included, already had snow removal companies plowing their driveways and clearing the sidewalks for them. They'd rather pay some old dude like my dad to drink coffee in a heated cab. It's what he does now, in the winter anyway. Drives a snowplow, robbing little kids like me of a rightful living. Just one more reason to hate him. Leah's standing up to leave. Her eyes dart from me to the floor to the seat. You don't have a bag? What can I say? I stop carrying a school bag about the same time I stop doing homework. She rolls her eyes and raises her hand like she has a direct line to God. Looking over the top of her head as I walk off the bus behind her, I'm sure I can see the tip of her little Miss Perfect nose in the air. Leah's house is long and white with green shutters. Like most of the lakefront houses, it probably has stables and buildings in the back where the workers lived a long time ago. A long driveway leads all the way to Lac des de Montagne through the trees. What a spot.